Hello, how is everybody? I want to just tell you a little bit today about some of the things that you need to know about at the beginning of a pregnancy. Um, because if there's one thing that's really common when you're brand new pregnant with your first pregnancy is you kind of go into this a little bit of an overwhelming feeling of, oh my God, what is it that I need to know that I don't know that I need to know? Yeah, it's quite daunting. But one of the areas that people get most concerned with is miscarriage and the potential miscarriage and what to do about it, um, when to worry about it. So I want to talk about that to begin with. So um, firstly, if your, if your gestation is under 20 to 24 weeks, then there's not a lot that medical science can do if you look like you're miscarrying. Um, once your baby gets over that 23, 24 weeks, it means that in a, uh, say in a catastrophic situation like a, a placental separation or, or such like, that baby could be delivered by emergency caesarean and potentially live. But if you're under that gestation, what are we going to do for you? It's not a lot. Um, so usually the answer is not to just dash to the hospital. You know, you're, you're 10 weeks pregnant and you've got some spotting and you dash to the hospital. What are they going to do? Um, they can't do anything for you. So let me tell you how we manage that. Okay. All right. So when you are very, you're early in pregnancy. So as I say, you're in that first half under 20, 24 weeks. The two signs of miscarriage are uh, usually abdominal pain and or vaginal bleeding. Now, if the abdominal pain is just light, it's like period like cramps, okay? What I want you to do is take some paracetamol, Tylenol, Panadine, uh, 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 Panadol, I should say, um, and go home and rest, lie on the couch, don't do anything more. Lie, lie, rest, rest, bed, rest, bed, rest, bed, rest. Don't do anything until those cramps stop. The worst thing that you can do is stay at work and push through it, okay? Not all right. You need to rest. Now, if the pain is excruciating and you need some serious pain relief, you need some morphine, go to hospital. Because if it's a serious pain, then chances are you are actually miscarrying. If it's just light little cramps, Look, it just might be the placenta implanting. Just go and rest, okay? And the other thing is bleeding, all right? So if you are, um, if you've got a little bit of light spotting, especially if it's brown um, and it's, you know, old blood sort of thing. So if you've got a little bit of light spotting, go home, rest, bed rest, bed rest, bed rest, and, and see if you can book in to have a scan the next day. Um, so we can just have a check of that viability of baby, all right? But the best thing to do is rest. However, if you're hemorrhaging heavily um, and you potentially might need a blood transfusion, take yourself off to hospital. If you're hemorrhaging heavily, then chances are that's a strong indication. I'm sorry, it is a miscarriage. Um, but if you've just got a little, little bit of light spotting, I still want you to rest. I don't want you to be pushing through at work. Um, just have a scan the next day and things should be absolutely normally fine. But rest, 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 okay? Um, I'm just looking at my notes. I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, so that's the main things when it comes to blood trans, when it comes to um, potential miscarriage is not a lot we can do, but the best thing you can do is rest, okay, and not push through it. Right, put your feet up, darling, have a scan and go to the hospital if there's a lot of blood or a lot of pain. Okay. And of course, report it to your obstetrician or midwife. Okay. That's all for today. Bye.